Okay, we're still working in 2.6, solving circular function. I did a, a couple examples last tutorial, and I'm going to do a couple more different types of uh, examples. Again, there are some good examples in the textbook that you can follow along there as well. And I'm doing similar examples, but they're a little different. So hopefully that'll give you a lot of uh, examples to look at. So let's take a look at another example here. Let's say we have two cos squared x plus 3 cos x plus 1 equals 0. So this one is, because it's got a squared, it's a, it's a factorable example. So think, think in terms of, say cos x is equal to um, w, say. So this would look like this, 2w squared plus 3w plus 1 equals 0. So that now gives us a factorable, if we remember our factoring, it's got a big w standing for cos x. You can just leave the cos x and factor it that way if you want, but some people find it helpful to put the cos x into a variable and they can, they can visualize it better. So what we want to do is we want to do a decomposition factoring method. Two, two numbers that multiply to 2 and add to 3, that's 2 and 1. So we can split that into 2 and 1. So 2w squared plus 2w plus w plus 1 equals 0. Take out the common factor of 2w there and get w plus 1. And then, of course, here just put plus 1w plus 1 equaling 0. So our factored material, our equation, pardon me, is w, 2w plus 1 times w plus 1 equaling 0. And if we convert that back into a, a function with cosine in it, it's 2 cosine x plus 1 times cosine x plus 1 equaling 0. So that means that if we solve this one here and equal it to 0, 2 cos x equals negative 1. If we bring the negative 1 over there, and then divide by 2. So cos x can equal negative 1 half, or cos x can equal negative 1 as well. So now when we're doing our solution for this one in our unit circle, we, when we're looking for one revolution around, uh, I, I didn't say uh, to do more than one revolution. I didn't mention to only do it for one revolution, but in these examples, we're only going once around the circle so far. So let's take a look where cos x is negative a half and negative one. So look for the first number where it's negative a half. No, 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 or negative one. No, yes. So at 120 degrees, okay, keep on going around, yes, at 180 degrees. And we're still looking for a negative half or negative one in the first one, 240 degrees. And no, 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 no. So we're good. So there's our solutions for x in that one. Okay, and one more to do, one more example I'd like to do, and that's a little bit of a, a different kind of one. One that you have to do a little bit of reasoning in. Okay, and this example, it's, it's fairly simple. You just have to do a little bit of th thinking in it. Okay, let's say we had cos x, or 2x, pardon me, plus 1 equals 0. So very basic, but you notice it's not cos x plus 1 equals 0. It has a 2x in there. So we're just going to isolate the cos 2x to it by itself. Cos x equal, or 2x equals negative 1. Well, if we were looking at x from, if we were looking from 0 for one revolution, all the way to 2 pi, or 360 degrees if you like, well, if we had 2x twice that, we multiply both of these by 2. So the, the 2x is going to vary from 0 multiply by 2, multiply by 2, all the way to 4 pi, which is two revolutions. So that what we do is then we go around the circle twice looking for 
negative 1. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, this would then be equal to, okay, well, look for negative 1 in the cos area. There it is at 180. That's once around the circle. And then going again, 360 and 180, it happens again. So what's 360 and 180? Well, that's 100, uh, sorry, that's 540. So our two solutions then would be 180 degrees and 540 degrees. And the reason you get up to the 540 is because the 2x gives it an extra revolution to go around the unit circle and look, looking at that possibility of obtaining a negative one there. And that will conclude our chapter two work in math C30 and in the tutorials. And we'll get it, be getting into solving triangles in the next chapter, chapter three.